in the book of mysteries, the teacher and the disciple go to a city to purchase some goods. On the way there, they come to a farm and people are harvesting and farming. And the teacher explains to the disciple that all over the world, there are celebrations called harvest celebrations where people celebrate their harvest. It's happened from ages when people reap, they have blessings and they celebrate. Well, there is something called the mystery harvests and the celebrations of harvests that never exist. Imagine a people celebrating a harvest that never took place, a harvest they never reaped or sowed, celebrations of non-existent blessings. Imagine a people persisting in celebrations and celebrating those non-existing harvests year after year. It sounds crazy, but it actually happened. It's one of the strangest phenomenon of history. And who are the people? The people are the Jewish people. See, God commanded the Jewish people to celebrate the harvests of the Promised Land. But 2,000 years ago, the land of Israel was destroyed. The Jewish people were scattered to the ends of the earth. There were no more harvests to celebrate, no more grains, no more fruits to be gathered. Yet God commanded them to celebrate. So even though they had no more harvests, they still kept celebrating them anyway. Much of the Hebrew holidays that you hear about are actually linked to the harvest. They're actually celebrations of harvests that don't exist. For instance, Passover, it's the celebration of the spring harvest. Pentecost or Shavuot, celebration of the beginning of the summer harvest. Feast of Tabernacles is the celebration of the autumn harvest. So all these harvests, they're celebrating. Imagine they kept celebrating barley harvest. There's no barley. They celebrated olive harvest. There's no olives. They celebrated vines uh, overflowing with non-existent grapes. It's all crazy, but it happened. But something just as strange happened also. After 2,000 years of celebrating non-existent harvests, the non-existent harvest reappeared on the earth. After 2,000 years, the Jewish people were restored to Israel. And all of a sudden, now the harvest they celebrated came back. Now they are celebrating again the olive harvest and the grain harvest that didn't exist and the, the, the grape harvest that they celebrated in faith. Now it's back. This is crucial. It is crucial that you learn the secret of the kingdom. See, the children of this world, people rejoice after seeing their blessings, but the children of the kingdom do the opposite. They celebrate before seeing the blessings. And you might be doing that too, it seems natural. That you are blessed, you get joy, you rejoice. You, something is given to you, you give thanks. But don't wait to see your blessings in order to rejoice. Rejoice and you'll see your blessings. Don't wait for the gift to come in order to give thanks to God. Give thanks to God and the gift will come. Don't wait until your circumstances are right in order to celebrate them. Celebrate them anyway. Don't wait even for that victory to be won in your life in order to become victorious. Become victorious, live victoriously anyway, and the victory will be won. Learn the secret of the mystery harvests. Celebrate the blessings you don't yet see. Celebrate the harvest you don't yet have, and you'll have the harvest to celebrate. Remember the children of Israel, when they're waiting, they're, they're at the, the Red Sea, and, and they're panicking, but when they got to the other side, they were celebrating and giving thanks. Well, that was great, except God would have had them praise Him anyway before the Red Sea opened. So learn this secret, it's amazing. As Messiah said, when you pray, give thanks anyway, and you will receive. So live not naturally anymore, my friend. Live supernaturally and start celebrating your non-existent harvest. Messiah said, I am the bread of life.